You are Mary, and so am I. Ha ha. Then there's more sympathy. You love sack, and so do I. Would you desire better sympathy? Let it suffice thee, Mistress Page, at the least, if a love of a soldier can suffice, that I love thee. I will not say pity me, tis not a soldier-like phrase, but I say love me, buy me. Thine own true knight, by day or night, or any kind of light, with all his might for thee to fight, John Falston. What a Herod of Jewry is this? O oh, wicked world, one that is nigh well worn to pieces with age to show himself a young gallant? What unweighted behavior hath this Flemish drunkard hit with the devil's name out of my conversation that he dares in this manner assay me? He hath not even been thrice in my company. What shall I say to you? I was then frugal of my mirth, heaven forgive me. I'll exhibit a bill in the parliament for the putting down of men. How shall I be revenged on him? For revenged I will be, as sure as his guts are made of puddings. Next up, we have a foreign exchange student from Scaro, Dalik Gahan. And he will be performing a scene out of The Merchant of Venice as Shiloh. He hath disgraced me. And look at me half a million, laugh at my glasses, laugh at my names, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, killed my friends, eaten my enemies. And what is his reason? I am a Dalek. Hath not a Dalek eyes, hath not a Dalek hands, organs, dimensions, already sick and pale with grief, that you, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vessel livery is but sick and grieved, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. Oh, she is my lady, she is my love. If she knew she were, she speaks, and yet she says nothing. What of that? I will answer it. No, I am too bold. It is not to me she speaks. Two of the brightest stars in all of heaven, having some business, do entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if they were there, they in her head? The brightest of her cheeks would shame those stars like daylight doth the lamp, and through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. Do you see how she leans her hand upon her cheek? Oh, how I wish I were a glove on that hand, so I might touch her cheek. I mean... She speaks! Speak again, bright angel. Your words are to me like that of a white angel on the upturned heavens. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? 
Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not be, but swear my love, and I will no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hands, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What is it a name that which we call a rose? By any other word would smell sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes. Without that title, Romeo doth thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and thou be new baptized. Henceforth I shall never be Romeo. What man art thou, thus miscreant and knight, so stumbless on my counsel? By a name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, fair saint, is hateful to myself, for it is an envy of thine. My ears have not yet heard a thousand words of his tongue's utterance. Yet I know the sound. Is it not Romeo and a Montague? I am neither, fair saint, if either of you dislike. Why are thou hither? Tell me and wherefore. The arch of walls are high and hearts climb, and place dead, considering who thou art. If any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I approach these walls, for love can do all love dost dare. Thus, thy kinsmen are no right to me. If they see thee, they will murder thee. But one gaze of yours is worth twenty of their swords. If you look at me but sweetly, I am proof against their enmity. I wish to the world that they would not see thee. Up next is Whitney Miller performing the scene from Macbeth as Macbeth. Is, is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle to my hand. Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision, sensible to feeling as a sight? Or art thou a dagger of mine? A false creation, proceeding from the heat of rest brain. I see thee yet, in form as palpable, as this which now I draw. Thou marshalst me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made the fools of the other senses, and else worth all the rest. I see thee still! And on thy blade and dungeon gouts of blood, which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. And now the one now o'er the one half world nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates Pohecate's offerings, and withered murder, alarmed by his sentinel, the wolf, whose house has watched. Thus, with a stealthy pace. With Tarquin's Tark, ravishing strides towards his design, moves like a ghost. Thou sure and firm said earth, hear not my steps, which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabout, and take the present horror from the time which now sits with it. Words to the heat of deeds, too cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan. For it is enough to summon thee to heaven or to hell. Up next, we have Elizabeth Robinson and Lacey Gabber from A Midsummer Night's Dream. They are Hermia versus Helena. Oh, me, you juggler, you keg your blossom, you think the blood. What, have you come by night and found my love's heart from him? Mine, I think, have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What, will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you puppet! Why so? That way goes the game. And now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statures. She urged her height, and with her personage, her tall in personage, her height pursued, she prevailed with him. What, are you so high in the scene because I'm so gorgeous and so low? How low am I? Paint and make holes speak. How low am I? I am not yet so low, but my nails can reach into the eyes. Good Hermia, do not be so bitter with me. I ever did love you, Hermia. Ever kept your counsel, never wronged you. Save that and love it to do. 
Demetrius, I told him of yourself into this wood. For love I called him, but he hath tied me, hath threatened me, to strike me, to spurn me, nay, to kill me too. And now will you let me quite go to Athens? Will I bear my folly back and follow you no further? Let me go. You see how simple and how fond I am? Why? Get you gone. Who is it that teaches you? A foolish heart that I leave here behind. What, with Lysander? With Demetrius.
Hear me, you see the tires change. <laughs> Up next is Lee and Chris playing as Juliet. Boys, well, here a cup. Close the much your gloves hand. Boys and half pitch this time. Let's say all the trolls. Drop all left and friendly drop. To help me after I will kiss thy lips. Happily some poison yet for you to hang on. To make me die of the store soon. Thy lips are not good. Then I'll be brief. Oh happy dagger. This is our sheep. Bear rest. And let me die. Now we have Barry Slam from a Midsummer Night's Dream. He is a pug. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but, hmm, slumbered here, while these visions did appear, and this weak and idle theme, no more yielding, but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, if we have unearned luck, now to scape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else, else the puck, a liar call. So good night unto you all. Give us your hands, if we be friends. And Robin shall restore amends. <laughs>